Hey everyone, this is Sira Sela. Welcome to the Elpa podcast. Elpa is an association of players in your league, which aims to collectively represent players and help their careers. We will be bringing you conversations with current and former EuroLeague players and other personalities from the world of basketball. Our guests will talk about their journeys, on and off the court stories, and look deeper into what it means to be a vital part of the basketball industry. Next day, uh, uh, like the same day after injury or next day after injury, I, I put uh, put the challenge myself that uh, I have to be better than I am now because uh, you have all this time that uh, uh, you have, you can work on the things that uh, you need to work on, yeah. you know? and uh, and it's not it's not only a strength or basketball. It's it's a diet. It's uh, what you eat, what you drink. You know, it's uh, whether how much you sleep. In this new episode of Elpa Podcast, my guest is Elpa Vice President and EuroLeague player Tuko Cengelia. Tuko talked about how he started playing basketball back in the years with his father. We also talked about his position with Elpa, his bad injury he had in 2015 and Georgian basketball. Enjoy! Hi Toko, can you talk about your journey as a basketball player? Uh, hi, how are you? Uh, my journey started uh, uh, basketball, as a basketball player ever since I remember. Uh, in my family, my father and my, my, my mother, they both uh, used to play basketball. And uh, ever since I remember, uh, I had uh, basketball in my hands. And uh, uh, whether I was at home or I was in... Uh, in the streets, in the neighborhood, I was playing basketball. But officially, I start uh, when I was nine year old uh, in in Hungary. By the time my father was playing there, uh, I started there for one year, and then uh, I continued. Uh, we moved back home in Georgia, and I continued there. Mm. And you fall in love with basketball at the first place? Yes, uh, like I said, ever ever since I remembered, uh, I didn't want to do anything else, just play basketball. So you are now part of the board of Elpa. How did you get involved in the association? Uh, from the from the day one, I heard uh, heard about this uh, idea that to create the uh, Euroleague Players Association. Uh, uh, I was thrilled. I was uh, very excited, and uh, I tried to be as as much as involved uh, it was possible. Uh, uh, I was helping. Uh, Uh, with Boki and Aja together and uh, a couple mo- uh, other players that uh, we were trying to you know like uh, push uh, push this thing to be able to be born you know mm-hmm. uh, and uh, and then uh, on the first uh, first uh, general assembly we had with the players representatives uh, they chose the five board members and yeah. uh, thanks to them I, w- I was one of them and how was the first year knowing that you have everything to build Oh, it's uh, it's excited. It's excited, and it's very interested uh, because there is uh, so much room to to grow, and so much room to improve. That uh, uh, and all the ideas we have, and all the all the goals that we have uh, to to achieve this, uh, uh, it's very interesting. It's very challenging, and it's uh, uh, it's excited, you know. And I guess you had to talk to players to get them in board about Elpa. What were their thoughts about Elpa, the players of your team and the players of all the teams? Uh, I think uh, everybody everybody is excited about uh, about Elpa. Uh, this is something that uh, it protects you. This is something that uh, this organization is something that gives you a voice, and uh, and and players are, are really happy about it. You know, because until until now we didn't have this, mm-hmm. and uh, there was a lot of issues that. Uh, Players, players said a lot of issues that uh, they couldn't talk to anybody. You yeah. know, so, so I think right now with uh, with this organization, we uh, we can listen to them and we can we can speak for them. You know, mm. and as Elpa members, you are able to attend to seminars that the NBPA, the Players Association in the NBA, is organizing every year. Yes, you attend in one last year. Yes. I think it was yes. a leadership program. Yes, can you tell us more about it? Uh, this is this is great. Uh, what Elpa has done with the uh, Uh, with uh, with NBA, you know, I think uh, every player needs uh, needs this, and I think as 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 soon as you start, the better it is to think about your uh, 
post post career post basketball career what you're gonna do next you know mm-hmm. uh, I was I was in Vegas uh, on the lead- leadership program and we uh, we met a lot of GMs a lot of scouts a lot of agents and uh, coaches and uh, uh, to to see to see from everybody's point of view how they work what they're looking for uh, where they start from where they what 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 it took to get uh, where they are now and it's, it was an amazing experience for me and I think uh, I would suggest every player if they have a chance to 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 do the get same Let's talk about the improvements you got with with Elba. Which one, according to you, has the biggest impact on the players? Uh, I think uh, uh, well, there's so many of them. You know, uh, I think uh, late payments is very important ones. Yeah. Uh, I think the the traveling uh, we still have a room to improve there. Uh, it, w- it would be. Uh, uh, very good and uh it will be it, it, it will be so good that uh if we can uh, achieve that uh one day every team has a charter flight you know yeah. uh until until then i think it's uh, still big room and uh, big challenges to go so uh, for to now head. it's priority boarding yeah just a priority boarding some some teams that they have uh, their own or impl- own airplanes they go charter everywhere yeah. but uh, some teams they don't you know so uh uh we d- we only have a prior priority boarding you know and exit uh seats. exit seats uh uh then we have a single room so very very important for the players to be uh, to be alone in, in the room you know mm. uh, it looks like small things but at the y- end it's the end it changed yeah easier. it's big yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly you said right it makes your life easier and it's it's more comfortable you know and as long as you have your players comfortable it's it's easier and uh them to play better you know mm. One of the improvements it's about the second medical opinion, and you had the chance to benefit from it yourself. What is the goal behind this imp- improvement? Uh, yes, I, I had uh, I used it myself uh, last year uh, with Dr. Muro. I had uh, I had conversation with him, and uh, I think it's uh, the goal is that if you have any doubt, uh, if you have any questions, that uh, second thoughts that. Uh, what you heard from only one doctor doesn't matter it's a team doctor or whoever you heard, heard from it you always want to double check it yeah. you know and uh, uh, you couldn't do it uh, officially before you know some teams maybe they would allow you to go to see some d- other doctor but uh, never officially you know mm-hmm. but now uh, players know that uh, it's it's possible mm-hmm. and, and even if you have to go fly uh, in Barcelona where the Dr. Muro is uh, and you know you're covered by uh, Elba mm-hmm. it's it's a very good thing it mm-hmm. it's a big thing you got injured badly in February 2015 mm-hmm. and you missed almost one year of, of game how did you end all that period without playing it's very tough uh, uh, whoever like I think uh, I speak for every injured players who who got uh, who had big injuries. That is very tough, you know, uh, not be able to be there uh, uh, to help your teammates uh, to see to see everything from outside, the way they practice, the way they run, the way they you know like uh, play, mm-hmm. and you see everything from outside, and your body, your adrenaline runs through your veins, but uh, you can do nothing about it, you know, and and this is every day. You see this every day, and. Uh, uh, some players who are injured like two or three months, uh, it's not two or three months or uh, it's not, you know, like just uh, eight uh, or uh, 12 weeks, you know, mm-hmm. it's, uh, you count every day, you count yeah. every day, so it's very tough. And mentally, how hard is it to stay away from the court when you used to play every day, like p- even twice a day? Yeah, it's, uh, it's tough, it's tough, but for me, I, I try to see... Uh, I try to see good things in every bad thing, you know, so I try to see in a way that I have more time to spend with my family, with my kids. Uh, uh, when I was, p- when I'm playing, uh, you know, all this traveling, all these practices, all these games that you, you not really there every time you want, you, you, you want to be with your family, you know, yeah. so uh, this, uh, this injury times I take the, I try to take in a positive way and, uh, and uh, spend more time with my family. And then you came back even stronger than before. Yeah. <laughs> How? Uh, for me, that's the challenge. Uh, next day, uh, uh, like the same day af- after injury, or next day after injury, I, I put uh, put the challenge myself that mm-hmm. uh, I have to be better than I am now because uh, you have all this time that uh, 
you have you can work on the things that uh, you need to work on yeah. no? and uh, and it's not it's not only a uh, strength or basketball it's it's a diet it's uh, what you eat what you mm-hmm. drink you know it's uh, whether how much you sleep and uh, everything yes yes everything everything uh, you're gonna you have to try to be a uh, professional in every day it doesn't matter if you play or not you know? mm-hmm. Georgia let's talk about something else Georgia is hosting one group of Eurobasket in 2021 yes. how excited are you about it I'm uh, very Knowing excited from yes very excited uh, I actually had a chance to be there in Berlin uh, to represent uh, my country and yeah. uh, to be there to be there and uh, to fight for this spot you know and uh, I was so excited uh, when we g- uh, when we get this sp- uh, this uh, spot and uh, It's very big thing for us, for uh, for our uh, for my people, for my country. It's very big. And How important is it for the country? It's very important. I think I I, I think uh, we didn't had this uh, the tournament big like this before. You know, uh, we had some uh, Olympic uh, junior Oli- Olympic games. You know, and uh, which is pretty big too. But in in basketball, we never had something like this before. And uh, I th- I think uh, me myself and people in Georgia, everybody is excited. And how do you see the growth of Georgian basketball? It's uh, very important, especially, uh, especially uh, they. Uh, I think they ga- they're gonna build uh, build this new arena for this uh, for this event. And uh, uh, I tell you, like if I if I'm a uh, 12, 13, 14 year old, and uh, I know in in two years I'm gonna watch one of the best teams come uh, yeah. national team come, and I have t- uh, I'll be able to watch uh, one of the best players in the world. Mm-hmm. That would motivate me even more, you know. And I think this is very very huge for uh, for young generations too. Mm. So this year the level of field league looks even better than ever with all the players moving from teams to teams. How do you see the future of field league? I I think uh, I think uh, future is bright. I think future is bright. Uh, uh, Even though this year probably is uh, one of the best years of, of the history, I think uh, there is still room to improve. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm very excited about this year. You know, all these all this movements that there was uh, during the summer. Uh, yeah, every time I see uh, some new player, some great player coming into the EuroLeague, I was excited, you know, and uh, it puts the competition uh, higher and higher level. And uh, uh, it, it's I think it really is the uh, second best league in the world, you know. Yeah. Thank you, Tako. No problem. Thanks to Toko for this great conversation and see you in two weeks with a new episode of Elpa Podcast.